Hey everybody, welcome back to Watch with Marcella. It's time. It's time. <laughs> it is episode six, Obi-Wan Kenobi, one and only season. Last week, episode five was amazing. Not only did Vader rip a ship straight out of the sky, Force Unleashed style, which you guys, I didn't bring it up last time because it's such a trigger for me. That was the hardest part of that game. I cried. Like, my thumbs hurt so bad because if you've never played Force Unleashed, there is a part where you need to take beautiful Sam Witwer and rip a Star Destroyer out of the sky. And it's so fucking hard because on the PlayStation, you had to get the toggles. Like, they were almost opposite of what they should be. Fuck you, game designer. You did that on purpose. That was hard and... To be honest, I've never played the game again because I'm not doing that again. I'm not doing it. It was one of the first times I'd ever had to look up a level online and see how it was done. And I, I swear I was doing everything the way the video was telling me to do it and still wasn't working. And when I finally got it to work, I think I actually threw the controller down and did like a touchstone, end zone touchdown dance. That's how happy I was. And I've never played the game again. And I never will, because I'm not doing that again. I'm just not doing it. Mm -mm. Anyway, Vader ripped a sh ship out of the sky. He ripped it apart using the force the way the force is when you fully give in to the dark side. And it's massive. The power level, he he blew my mind. Obi's going to have to drink some, some protein shakes and eat some spinach if he wants to even come close to the level of power that's going on right now. It's not going to happen. It's not who Obi is right now. Leia. <laughs> How have you always been a badass your whole life? She, without hesitation, was like, get me a ladder. I'm going to go up there and fix that. She dealt with Lola without hesitation. She just, boop, teeny little, what are they called? Restraining bolt. Boop, popped it off. Can't believe it was that easy, but that's okay. And Reva. Oh, Reva. One thing the character of Reva needs to learn how to do is pick your moment. You really need to pick your moment. And that was not your moment. You got played by the Grand Inquisitor, by Vader. You were never in the game. You didn't even show up. This was not any given Sunday. You lost. Any more metaphors I can throw out there? She lost. She's still incredibly badass though and I have a feeling she's on her way to Tatooine because she heard the communication from Bale. She knows about the kids. She knows about Anakin and she is all... She talked, you know, Obi-Wan talked to her about how, you know, ha their plan would work because Vader's blind rage towards Obi, all he'll see is me. All she sees is Vader. All she sees is Anakin. That blind rage is leading her to what is presumably in my mind going to be her death. So let's talk about <laughs> the other thing that happened last week was I got a little mad at the Star Wars fanboys and thankfully you guys agreed. So thank you so much. And I just wanna pull out a couple of your comments from last week that were really amazing. The first one up is Chan Man 4 Rings. Chan Man 4 Rings said, the parallels to Anakin and Obi-Wan in the flashback to Vader versus Reva present were done perfectly. Love the parallels of the relationships between Master Obi-Wan and Padawan Anakin Vader. And Master Vader and Padawan apprentice Reva. Reva's mentality for winning and succeeding at all costs blinds her to the bigger picture just like Anakin. Vader left her alive for a reason. She survived being stabbed as a child and he knows she can survive this too or else he would have dooku her, which is a very good point. I didn't realize that Reva probably went to a mod shop and she's got some Fennec Shan going on in her belly and if he stabbed her in the right, in the same exact place, then all he did was go through some scar tissue, kind of like Mal in Firefly. You know, you can't kill me because I had that moved. Got hit by a bullet a long time ago, had it moved. Well, she got hit with a laser sword when she was little, so she probably had that moved. So that's how she lived, but Chan Man Four Rings, I totally agree. The parallels between the imagery was just gorgeous. It was phenomenal. Next up, we've got Elsa Christina. 
Elsa Christina said, It's funny that Anakin said that mercy doesn't defeat the enemy. Well, years later, his son will show mercy and it worked. So Anakin was wrong and he needed Luke to show him that. And that is so, so true. The one thing this universe is able to do that no other franchise other than maybe Harry Potter can do is, and successfully, is rewrite their own history. They're able to take these shows, that these movies that we love, and go back through these shows and pepper in all these little details that we've always wondered about, and it's wonderful. And Harry Potter is kind of doing the same thing with the Fantastic Beast franchise. Now there is an example of how to do that incorrectly with the Terminator franchise. You can't just keep retconning your own history over and over and over again. That doesn't work. So no, stop, no, just please stop. It should have just ended with T2. Moi, dipshit? Yeah, you, end it, leave it alone. Just. Mm. Now, I have enjoyed each one for its own merits, but that's a tale for another day. It's time now for Obi-Wan Kenobi. I can't wait. I think we're racing back to Tatooine. I'm hoping we'll get to see more of Owen and Baru, because we haven't seen Baru at all, as far as I know. She's listed for two episodes, but I haven't seen her. And then I'm thinking uh, this is going to be a great episode. It's 51 minutes long, so let's get to it. I don't want to wait anymore. Thank you guys for interacting and commenting. Keep doing it. Let's talk about this episode in the comment section. And I got my coffee. I got my tissues because, you know, I tend to cry. So I figured I better bring the tissues today. And let's just get into the final episode of Obi-Wan Kenobi. Was it just going to say the action-packed special event finale? That was too much. Tala. I didn't even get to talk about Tala. I forgot to talk about Tala. R.I.P. Tala and Ned B. I'm not ready. I'm not. I'm not ready. Oh You know how I feel about Jawas. Rude! Something you want to say? I have something to say. Wait your turn. Hey, Reva. You know what's left when I'm done. Time to go, everybody. I'm looking for a friend. Oh my god! The fly that ship! Ah! Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Where are you taking them? You please. Because uh, you should be taking Leia home, but you can't go home. Your daughter is on that ship. Stop firing at it. At once, Lord Vader. Oh, my God. Mm -hmm. Can't you do something? <laughs> something? What are you gonna do? Lead him away? Please tell me you're not going to trust Leia to Kamal. Lola. Look at her. She's 10 years old and she's comforting other people instead of being afraid. Somebody broke the last one. Yeah. <laughs> patient man. I'm not that patient. He's so cute. Uh oh. Owen? There's something you need to know. No, no way. You can't just leave me here. I'm the one that Vader wants. If I go, he will fall. I'm not leaving. Leia, please. You've spent ten years protecting the Jedi. This is my chance to return that favor. No. Broken. You know this plan makes sense. No, we need you. It'll buy you the time you need. You must get these people out of here. 
You are all the future. You are the future. You're what needs to survive. No. Leia. I find she needs to be given space. Just you must promise me that you get her home, Hodger. As soon as I'm in the clear. You have my word. <laughs> Don't trust him. He will sell her back to the... That I may not mean much to you. It's good enough for me. This is a bad plan. Oh, there she is. Go on in. Yeah, whose fault is that? You need to take Luke and hide somewhere. Where? In the desert? I'm not leaving my home. I'm not putting anyone else in danger. Where enough? You and me. Yeah, Peru. She'll come when the suns go down. Best we got position now. Damn! Okay, girl! Go ahead, Peru! There's a really great story of Amperus in the, uh, from a certain point of view, you should check it out. It's all about blue milk <laughs> and blue milk cheese. <laughs> Aww. Does she have that as an adult? Dang it. <sighs> Take her home. I mean, we know he's going to because he does make it out of this, so it's going to be fine, but it's going to be action-packed and it's going to be a squeaky bum time, clenching the butt cheeks time. <laughs> so he's like, I'm still here. <laughs> Whether he dies or I do, this ends today. Don't. I'm not ready for that. If those things happen, I'm sorry to tell you that. Do this, you know. We can still fix the drive. I have to go. It's not about us, is it? No, it never was. You want to do it. It's about you and him. Broken. There are not many leaders left. People follow you. Don't stop. Aww. Just get started. I would watch a show about that. I would... You know, thanks Disney Plus for peppering that in. I would totally watch a show about that. Tracking in an escape craft. There's one life form aboard. That's him. My lord, we must continue our pursuit of the insurgents. Now is our chance. Shut up. Wipe out this network in its entirety. We cannot prioritize. Nah, he's gonna hurt you. Jedi. He is not just any Jedi. Follow Kenobi. At once, Lord Vader. <laughs> Did you see? He sucked his lips so hard. <laughs> yeah, that's not scary. Look at the size of that ship. I can't believe he cannot feel his daughter on that ship. I mean, he doesn't have any reason to, but you would think, like, he could sense it somehow. Now, Luke, I need you to listen to me. Hey, little baby Luke. So stay in here. If anything goes wrong, you, you know what to do. You run. I'm not afraid. I know. Everything's gonna be fine. Yeah, don't worry, little baby Luke. 
You're unfortunately sentenced to many years on this dust farm. You got many more years of your uncle being an asshole to you. Prepare my ship. I will face him alone. <laughs> I swear the Grand Inquisitor's like, whatever. You're gonna do what you want anyway. What planet is this? I'm telling you, I'm expecting at any minute to hear Liam Neeson's voice, and I'm either going to explode into tears, throw up, or die. <laughs> or maybe all of the above. He can't. <laughs> Now you have to go back because you have to give Lola back. You said you were scared. Yeah, damn that little girl. <sighs> Does Lola have video on her? Like she's not gonna be like relaying this back to them on that ship, is she? Like they don't have to watch that, do they? Here she comes. Reva, you do not sound well. Did you not go back to the modders and get your ass fixed before you went on this? See, that's what I mean about blind rage. She just... She stop at nothing. Not even her own death. You're gonna get there and die on their doorstep. Good as that. God, these shots are so good. Wouldn't it be funny if they just sat and had a chat? Why did you park so far away? Oh, wow, look at that. Have you come to destroy me? Obi Wan, you have done do that yourself. I must. <laughs> do what I must. <laughs> then you will die. are so bright that like I don't know if that blue has ever been that blue no no, no go back to that I want to keep watching that I know we got to deal with Reva but I'm not interested in Reva right now What is your plan, Reva? They shoot about as well as stormtroopers. You spent the last couple episodes getting all limbered up. Don't even play with the force. Has returned. But the weakness still remains. I told you. Level. Now who has the high ground? 
Oh no, he's gonna bury you. Stop it! Did you truly think that you could defeat me? You have failed, master. He's gonna come jumping out of there like Edward in Breaking Dawn. <laughs> Or is this where he's going to connect with Qui-Gon and Qui-Gon's going to give him the strength? Ow! You really love the boy. Like he's your own. I mean... He is my own. He is his own. What do you want? Hurting. Oh, she's coming. Go. Go. Run, run, Luke, run. Cause she can't run that fast. <laughs> Although her blind rage, like I said, is just gonna force her to keep going. Is this the moment? Is this it? Is it gonna happen? Is he gonna talk to Qui-Gon? I can't handle it. I can't take it. <sighs> Quiet your mind. about them. Way to go, Obi-Wan. Did you really think this was over? Oh, that was slick! <laughs> oh, the choreography. can stop. Stop Vader's evil, but it's like it's like that episode of Rebels when Ahsoka sees him through the cracked mask. We're gonna see his face. Voice. 
I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Alec. For all of it. I am not your failure, Obi-Wan. <sighs> the mix of their voices is killing me. You didn't kill Anakin Skywalker. He called him Darth. Where's the Star Destroyer? Did the Star Destroyer just jet and leave him there? Why didn't they just... Okay, whatever. Luke. He's going to Tatooine. You really didn't try and hurt this child? like you, a youngling like you. Yeah, look, look at yourself. Look at yourself. Can you do it? She can't do it. Come on, Obi-Wan. I'll look in the genome sea. We'll search till we find him. Ben! She brought him back. So that's how he got his limp from falling off of the thing. She couldn't do it. He's okay. He just fell down. He's okay. Now what happens to her? I do Because you're not a bad person. This is a long moment of silence and I'm afraid she's gonna dooku herself. Please don't kill yourself. Lightsabers are buried in the deserts of Tatooine. And what becomes of Riva? Is that actually her name or just her Inquisitor name? I knew we were going to end up on Mustafar. If y'all don't end this show with me seeing Leia get home, I'm tracking every system within range. He will destroy everything in our path until he is found. You seem agitated, my friend. <laughs> I'm so excited. I knew it! Be me again. No, he won't. I wonder if your thoughts are clear on this, Lord Vader. Perhaps your feelings for your own master have left you weak. If your past cannot be overcome, Kenobi means nothing. I serve only you, my master.
Well, that explains why he doesn't see him again until A New Hope. Please don't be the end. Lush greens of Alderaan. Get her home. He has to bring Lola back to her, right? Aww. <laughs> Tall as blaster. All right, let's go, young lady. We don't want to keep her. <laughs> She's so cute. Is that the holster? Bringing Lola back to her. <laughs> you said there were many ways to leave. There are. Like I was right. If I'm going to do this, I'm going to want to change a few things. Change things again. Okay, let's go. So who is it today? More cousins? No. Not exactly. Not exactly. I think you're going to be pretty happy. Lola! <laughs> separate a young lady from her joy. I think she might have been a little more excited to see Ben, but that's okay. <laughs> we can never repay you. She has already done that. Well, if you ever need my help again, you know where to find me. The top that day never come. I'm sorry that it will. What will you do now? Take care of your brother. I don't know. What do you think I should do? You think you should sleep. <laughs> 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 I think you should sleep for a while. <laughs> Princess Leia Organa, you are wise, discerning. Stop it. These are qualities that came from your mother. But you are also passionate and fearless, forthright. And these are gifts from your father. Okay, I can't take any more. <laughs> I really can't. Thank you. Will you ever see you again? Briefly. Someday, if you ever need help from a tired old man, <laughs> we must be careful. No one must know. We could be dangerous. Her. gonna sell so many of those outfits. So many little girls just got cosplay outfits and Lola fits in the holster. Can I get a Star Wars what if about what if Obi-Wan had stayed with Leia instead of Luke? Can I get the boy the toy now? What does he do for the next 15 years, 10 years, however many years? Just hang out in this, wait, looks like you're moving. did your space camel do this whole time you were gone? Did you just leave it tied up in town? <laughs> He's gonna go move out past the dune sea. You uh, are doing here. Oh, you're gonna keep your distance. You know you were right. 
right. He just needs to be a boy. The only protection he needs now, Owen, is you and Baru. I mean, Baru is a badass. No. He'll take care of him about Vernon Dursley. Then, you want to meet him? Oh. Ben. Hello there. Hello. <laughs> <sighs> we still got time for Qui Gon. Don't let us down. He needs to connect. I need that to happen. here I could watch an entire second series just about the two of them I think just hanging out in the desert shoot the shit but that doesn't make for good TV does it <laughs> oh, six minutes worth of credits really There should be like a sniffle mute button. I'm so sorry for all the sniffling. But when you cry, you get stuffed up and you sniffle, so. That was a lot. And um, I don't even really know where to begin other than it was perfect. It was so perfect. This was so good. And I like that they did, they were, <laughs> They were like, the action-packed special event finale. Like, don't forget, this was a special event. This is all you're getting. <sighs> so good. Wasn't it good? It was so good. Okay. How is it that the... How is it that this is this good? I don't even really know what to say. Okay. Moments that I wrote down that I wanted to talk about. During the duel with Vader and Obi-Wan, there's a moment where... Obi-Wan apologizes to Anakin. He says, I'm sorry. And the look on his face, it's like, it's the moment he realized there was just no saving him. It was so good. It was just such a good moment. And then Reva's rage, this episode really focused on two things with Reva. Her rage all throughout the episode, just this blind rage that she had, just this singular focus to get revenge. And then a beautiful almost two minutes, I feel like. It felt like forever where she just processed everything and she had this silence with Obi-Wan when she just decided not to kill Luke and not to give in to that side of herself. And it was beautiful. Just watching Moses Ingram and let, let all that emotion and all that 
contemplation just play out throughout her face was just it was it was beautiful it was it was beautiful deborah chow the direction in this entire series it really does make a difference when you have one person at the helm you can kind of feel it it has the same tone all the way throughout the same vision you know most shows try to do that but you can tell different things are done by different people with this you could tell this was this was a good long perfect story that i mean i hate to call it anything perfect but for me this was uh, there was no bad here like i cannot think of anything other <laughs> we always have one thing right so i am still perplexed by why when that shuttle took off off of to be to beam to be to beam why the star destroyer just didn't poof <laughs> but that's minor little thing that's not this i thought the writing was wonderful the directing was wonderful the cinematography was amazing the special effects were out of this world the casting was insane and leia she was the heart of this show. She was the unexpected. We never in a million years when we watched that first trailer thought that this show was going to be about Leia. We assumed it was going to be about Obi-Wan protecting Luke. But no, it was about Leia. And it's about damn time. <laughs> Leia. <sighs> so good. That's what, that's, we're just going to make that the thing. So good. <laughs> She just, the prequels answered a lot of questions about Anakin and how Anakin came to be. And now these shows are giving us what Leia was like and who Leia turned out to be. And, you know, there are certain rumors swirling around out there that Millie Bobby Brown is this close to inking a multi-million dollar deal for a major Star Wars role. And I mean, what else could she be? Like, who else could she be? Teenage Leia, all the way. I'm here for it every day of the week. And I know people are upset, but I've seen Stranger Things. I've seen Enola Holmes. I've seen her in Godzilla. I think she's a very talented little actor and I 100% here for it. <sighs> Palpatine. You know, Ian, no one will ever play this role the way you do. And I, back in the, I said to my friend, I said, if we don't get a shot of Vader in his, I thought it was going to be in his meditation chamber, kind of like in Empire Strikes Back. You got, got the thing and it opens up and he's talking to him with the big head, big floaty head. But no, this was, this was better on Mustafar in his throne. And of course, no one can get to Anakin the way that Palpatine can. He has this hold over him all the way up until Luke. And it's Luke that breaks through that evil facade of Vader's and can, can, can reach him. But Palpatine, wow. I mean, he was very singularly focused. He was like, we will not stop until we find Obi-Wan. We will we will scour the galaxy for Obi-Wan. And with one sentence, Palpatine was like, are you sure you're thinking clear on this? And he was like, uh, yeah, fuck that dude. I am here with you. I serve only you. Let's do it. And that explains, like I said, why they don't meet again until they're old men. Oh, Palpy. Ooh, you're an evil genius. Talk about the long game. Ooh. I mean, it sucks that you played this long of a game and it didn't really work out for you, but hey. You're still trying. <sighs> and Qui-Gon. We all wanted it. We knew we wanted it. And it was wonderful. I was a big old blubbery mess. I don't even want to see myself while I'm editing that scene. <laughs> I wish I had someone to edit it for me because I'm sure it was a big old blubbery mess because I still can't really breathe. I'm all stuffed up. It was wonderful. There were a lot of problems with the prequel movies, but Qui-Gon Jinn was never one of them. Liam Neeson, you are a master at all you do, and Qui-Gon... I mean, shit, I'm here for a Qui-Gon prequel. Let's de-age that bitch and just get another show out there. I'm fine with it. 
I would love to see that, although it would be really creepy because you'd have to de-age Obi-Wan as well. Or, I mean, we could, we could go way back, way, way, way back and do like a teenage Qui-Gon, how he was a Padawan and became a Jedi Master. I'm here for all of it. Just give me more Star Wars content. That's all I want out of life till the day I die is more Star Wars content. <sighs> I loved it, obviously, but I want to know what you guys thought of it. Let's talk down below in the comments. As always, don't forget to like, follow, subscribe, share, do all the things. And finally, let me know specifically what you think I should do next. Now that Obi-Wan's over, there's going to be a big old gaping Star Wars hole in my heart, and I've got some choices to make. So I've got several different things I'm shooting right now. I need to finish Star Wars Visions. I got to do episodes eight and nine. I got to fin finish Invincible. I've got like episodes four through eight. That I have to finish episodes two through seven of WandaVision, episode two of Falcon and Winter Soldier, and I've got to finish episodes two through eight of but after the season two finale of Mandalorian, it was one of the things that made me want to do a reaction channel because I was <laughs> screaming in my bedroom at 3 a.m. because I was so excited to watch that finale. And I thought after I watched all of the other reactors watch that finale, I was like, you know what? I want to do this. I want to get my voice out there. I want people to watch it with me. So for over a year, you guys have been watching it with me and I'm so excited and so thankful for you guys watching along. So let me know which one of those things you think I should do next and let's keep watching. I can't wait. Until next time, I will see you guys later. Take care. Bye.